It's that time of the month again where I get all cranky because I never tree pronged in a while. I'm on the hunt for a brother Z right now. He's supposed to meet me somewhere around here. What's up, brother Z? Hey, morning. Ready to go dive? <laughs> oh, yeah. The water is looking super calm, no wind, no waves, just the way we like it. All right, let's keep it moving. We've got to stop and grab some ice at our local ice station. We got a holy situation right here. One speed. All right, we finally made it to the spot and I'm starting to get small kind PTSD because last time I was here, I got freaking pounded on the rocks and I lost one of my dive fins, my brand new dive fins. But this time I'm back with a brand new pair. I even got one extra one for my middle leg. So let's go check them out. She First drop in the shallows. And look who decides to come in for din din. <laughs> One of my all time favorite fish right there, the Moana Kali. I was holding him out as bait because I was going to plug another fish. <laughs> but he still had some kick left in him. <laughs> so I decided to just swim up and not risk it. I load this guy up onto my belt cooey and we swim him out to the depths for some deeper drops. Brother Z lets me sample his gun. And when I get to the bottom, I look up and there's a big school of baby moo. Too small for me, so I'll bust out one grunt, <laughs> scare him all away. But how's this Hilu Pilikoa? Just cruising. Love those guys. Some bigger moves started to come in, but not close enough. It's a big move right there. How's oh, this bird? We head out a little deeper and try our luck out here. I flick some sand in the air to pretend like I'm not paying attention and look them.
I'm going for the big one in the middle, but you can see me messing around with Z's gun. This is my first time shooting it and it's a aim right, which has a built-in safety. So when I pulled in the safety, for some reason, I thought that was gonna shorten the trigger pull, but that definitely wasn't the case. So the gun didn't fire and I scared them all away. The Skuda has been circling us for a little while and it was kind of trippy to watch it just follow Breda Z down as he takes a drop. But that didn't even matter because he found the moo pile and comes up with a fat mooski. My new fins are cramping up my feet pretty bad so I had to take them off and let these bad boys breed a little bit. The depths ended up being pretty dead so we cruised on back to the shallows to try our luck in there. And how's this guy right here? slithering along the rocks he's just looking up at a beautiful angel falling from the sky how cool is this though he's pushing out all the rocks to try and protect himself look how he protects his head right there with his tentacle as i throw him the shaka he definitely thought i was gonna grab him but i just wanted to go in for the little tickle tickle rush hour on the top a highway a little blue ski over there and a Brada Z swimming out of a cave over here. Someone or something definitely took a chomp on the side of this guy's flapper. But just like that, off into the distance, a spot of uku. So I throw my spoon and I start chumming up my Moanakali guts. You can see that the uku really wants those guts. But, he's got to go through Brada Z first. I can tell Z needs a backup shot. So I take down my CT9 to go finish the job. If you want to buy this 3-prong or any Evolve product you see me using, go check out EvolveDiving.com and use my promo code HAMA for 10% off your entire order. HAMA deals guys, just for you. We got the double muskies, we got the fat uku, and of course the Moana Kali. Now we're headed out to go get some snacks. We just got to Punalu Bake Shop, but we just found some horrible news. Homeboy lost a finger to a lobster. Who's that? Alex. Yeah, that chomped his finger right off. Don't go sticking your little fingertips in the lobster mouth. They'll bite that fricker right off. <laughs> One strawberry. We'll try one apple, please. Do not forget the bread. All right, which one are you going for? Bismarck. Bismarck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that fatty right there. Well, I can't eat fresh fish every meal, I guess, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> I got an apple malasada right here. It's 
It's not bad. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't buy it again. The apples kind of taste like they're fake or something. I was expecting more out of the Punalu'u Bakery. I can't even finish this. I, so much I don't like it. The sauce, there's something about it. The, the apple sauce, canned sauce, I don't know. Cheap. So we'll feed the maninis down here. Muuku and Moana Kali slabs. Whew. Uku sashimi on some hot rice. Mix a little rice vinegar in with our sushi rice. Put this in here and make a whole mess of my counter. Crispy rice. Yeah, some wasabi aioli. This guy's probably starving. He hasn't eaten since yesterday. And oh, it's set. Oh, the malasada, <laughs> yeah. And it's 7 15 right now. So she goes. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. Maybe it's because it's the best thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, that's the one. Winners, that's huh? The one. I've never tried this before, so I'm excited. It's like a, a uku cracker. It's super good. It's trippy how hard the, the rice gets. Yeah, the uku's like the perfect texture to balance out that crispiness. It's nice like it takes a while to eat too, yeah? It's like a nice, a nice crunch. Bang. We got the Moana Kali sweetbread roll. These are local oyster mushrooms.
horseradish my dad grew. Thanks, Dad. Usually you use Parmesan, but I'm a fan of Havardia. It works well. Time. Ginger, of course. It's never complete without smoked paprika. Maybe a little pinch of cayenne pepper. A coolie coolie that we picked up off the rocks today. Mix them all together. Looks so delicious. Whew. Dang. I cannot wait for this and I'm so excited. Moana Kali Punalu'u sweetbread roll. Oh man. The bread. Y'all know Moana Kali is already like super light and airy. The sweet roll and the Moana Kali is just, it's just so delicious. It almost feels like you're eating air. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so like soft and, and uh, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you gotta try this. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, sweet fish with the sweet roll. The mushrooms and onions together. So different than the last one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like opposite because mm -hmm. the this one's like airy, the other one was crunchy. There you go, bro. Simpler the better. Oh man, I'm feeling so satiated right now. How about you? I'm getting there. Right about it, brother. Mm -hmm. We earned it today, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went hard today. I was about to bitch out too. <laughs> <laughs> it's naughty time. Lily Koi Malasada. Oh, that's good. That's way better than the apple one. I thought the middle was gonna be filled. I did too. But, uh, so that kind of threw me off when I bit into it, but super good. All right, you're up, bro. What are you going for? Uh, I wanna mix it up with chocolate last time. I'm gonna go for a strawberry and see how it does me. Yeah, you're right. Not another jelly. No? I'll stick with chocolate. Yeah. It's good though. Let's we'll see what the inside looks like. <clears throat> you know it's good when you get the the chocolate stash after. Yeah. Got something for you. Mahalo. Oh, thank you. Damn. The Nicole Spence special, dude. <laughs> Too funny. Full circle. Oh, there she is. The best part about this is that they sprayed perfume on it. <laughs> it smells just like Nicole Spence would. <laughs> Actually, I'm so full. I can't eat another bite. But you all already know what time it is. It's time to celebrate our amazing catch today. 